We picked up closer to the end of the island, having drifted past the big set of rocky organ pipes that we started with on the last dive. And jumping into the water here, the drop-off was more extreme and closer to another set of steeper rocks that were set further back from the water. To be honest, we weren't really expecting as spectacular underwater scenery as we'd seen on the previous dive, but nonetheless, we jumped in, heaved the camera overboard and swam down into the blue depths. The drop-off just seemed to get steeper and steeper as we moved down towards the point and we soon found ourselves in very dramatic surroundings. The black snapper still swimming way up above us and we immediately made contact with a very big bumphead parrotfish. These fish are normally pretty shy and I was quite surprised to have this one swim right past before it finally decided it didn't want to be near me. We then swam into an area of this dive with almost cathedral-like feeling to it. These rocky spires, pinnacles and walls protruding around us as we swam through this seascape that was just quite surreal. The scale of it was very deceptive too. The massive canyons in between these rocky spires were huge. You can see Grant following me through the slot. There were small clumps of coral scattered across the rocky surface of the drop-off here. Pretty healthy, although there wasn't much of it. And I imagine the current really moves around this point. Out in deeper water, a little spotted eagle ray made a pass. This one had a beautiful long tail. And just below one of the granite buttresses, we spent a few moments with a tiny little hawksbill turtle. This reptile was probably 50 centimeters long and looked really old despite its size, shell covered with growth. And these little animals are currently nesting here in the Seychelles. And funny enough, they nest during the day at high tide. Very graceful little animal. It made its way in between the rocky walls, banking against one of the boulders, turning in front of the sheer side of Marion Island. And it was soon joined by the batfish, which we'd made contact with on, on the previous dive. They seem very inquisitive, the batfish, almost tracking the turtle and myself as we swam along. This little turtle free fell over the drop off and disappeared. Just drifting along, looking up at these grooved spires that rose for meters and meters above us. It was quite, quite spectacular just to be in this environment. The sun shining down over these underwater crags. Just quite amazing. <laughs> 